Hello learners, today we will discuss about how to create a data file and how to open a file in SPSS. So first you have to go to programs and then you have to click to IBM SPSS uh, software. After this, this type of window will come in which you will f uh, it will first demand that you want to open an existing data source or you want to open another file of, uh, type of file or you have to type the data. So in this creating a new uh, data file you have to write you have to click to type in data and then you have to click OK. This type of view will come first in the file which is there in SPSS. The first view is data view uh, and the second one is variable view. Now before uh, uh, entering data into SPSS we have to first go to variable view and we have to uh, enter the variables. Variables are basically the fields in which you have collected the data. For example, if you have done a survey, you have filled questions, uh, questionnaire from respondents, so now you want to enter that data into the system. So first, uh, you have to enter the fields in which you have collected that data. So coming up to the variables, let us start with, for example, age. So, this type of uh, variable that is age, we have to mention it as numeric or uh, the field would be actually name, type with decimals, label, values, missing, columns, align, measures and roll. Coming up to age, so now the type would be numeric or comma dot. By default, SPSS take numeric and take width at A is decimals to level we have to mention. Values. In values we have to enter, you have to give value because in uh, uh, SPSS you have to enter codes to the data. So let's suppose if, uh, if you're giving value 1 to the respondents who are having age less than 20. So here, here you have to add now. Similarly, if you're giving uh, value 2 as those who have greater than 20, but less than 40. So you have to add. Similarly, if you are giving 3 to those who are having age greater than 40, however, they are less than 60 years, so you give a 50, give value to it and then click add. And the last fourth, so we are giving greater than 50 and above. So this, let's suppose this is an example we are taking, we are collecting a consumer, uh, we are collecting a data for the uh, consumer uh, behavior towards certain brand preferences. So we have add to the fourth value. Now spelling if you want to check, here is an icon. So now click OK and values would be displayed here. Now missing is like when you enter data into uh, through data code in a data view, some respondent might have not answered. So here is the missing value. So you have to mention it should be none or it could ha it could have in a range. So by default generally we take as nine if some missing value is there. So you keep it as none that no, n uh, n there should not be any missing value in it. Now alignment you can uh, mention like Come, it should come in left, right or center, then column after missing. So the, it, it can be 8. Now by default it's take 8. So measure now. So measure you have to take in as it, it could be scale, ordinal or nominal. So we are taking as a scale. Now come up to the second variable. For example, we are taking gender. So again it has taken numeric 8 then decimal is 2. Now you can enter here value. So here while entering, let, let's suppose in short form we have mentioned gen. So label would be gender. So you should keep the label so that one can easily recognize what this variable is all about. So variable 
here one for let's suppose male and and two for female okay we have done with it missing none column eight alignment right then measure here you have to mention is it a scale ordinal or nominal so we will take it as scale or, or, or we will uh, since it's gender we can take as nominal example I'm giving now second let us take about occupation so short form is oc so here label would be occupation values we can take uh, it is depend like business so you're giving code one to business two for something so let us start with one you were giving to business second to service as per the fields which you have mentioned in your uh, this question student so this how you have mentioned about the values now missing would be eight column alignment would be eight uh, alignment would be right so now you have to uh, finalize about the measure so here it is again nominal let us take the next variable that is minimum income so I am giving M I C and I would be mentioning here in the variable that it is minimum in income so again you have to mention here in measure what it is so let us take as ordinal now because since it is a uh, income which shows uh, ranking so we will take it as ordinal now come on, uh, coming up to brand preference so uh, in the pre uh, previous one you have to val uh, value a as you have mentioned here so first I am coming to uh, this part because I left so one value I am giving for those who are having income greater than 10,000 but less than 20,000 or let's suppose 50 so I'm giving two to the val uh, value those who are having income greater than 50,000 per month and less than 70,000 and three to seventy thousand and and above so one part is add let's suppose you're giving four though one should be there to the those who are not having any income so it could be from zero or one two so greater than one and less than 10,000 for a student let us take two, zero. so this is how we have entered into this data view uh, variable view now let us take about brand preferences so here let's suppose one you are giving to let's suppose mm, PNG Two you are giving to HUL. And three to others. And you click OK. So now you have to mention again missing, which we have we are doing none, column, align, and then we are coming to measure. So major would be here nominal. So we have now described in detail about the variable and its characteristics. So now coming up to data view, it will look like this. Like 
here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be uh, data which uh, a particular respondent has given. For, for example, respondent 1, 2, 3, 4. And age, how, mu uh, how much, uh, he, uh, uh, how old is he or she, then gender, occupation, income, and brand preference. So let us say respondent 1 is, we have given 2, so it is greater than 20, less than 40. Gender, it is, let's suppose, male. Occupation, he is in business. So business is 1. Then income, let's suppose, 3. Brand preference is, let's suppose, he prefer HUL. So this how it will come in data view. And later, we will now save this file. So save as. So it will come to documents here. And untitled one. And then you will click to save. So in, again, I'm repeating in file, it would be save as. Then it will come to documents, look in documents with some name. Let's suppose brand preference dot sav and then save. 